Hi, I'm continuing in Las Vegas. This is a bit different than the neon lights from the last video. This is what Las Vegas looked like when people settled here about 170 years ago uh, for the first time. Let's talk about a blockchain, distributed ledger, hyperledger, a number of different names for this technology and how it plays into this whole, whole uh, thing that I'm talking about. The hyperledger uh, solves one kind of reconciliation problem, that problem of settlement where the same transactions are recorded in two different, uh, two different data places and have to be reconciled to see that the, the positions that they add up to are the same so that then the funds can be settled between the two parties involved. That's only one kind of reconciliation. But there's, there's a lot more than just financial reconciliation that goes on in the world where we record many different kinds of transactions in two different places. In fact, I suspect there might be more transactions which are non-financial which are recorded. Here's a little chart. Let's walk through and, and look at these examples. For example, uh, company one and company two have a vendor um, customer relationship. And the customer says, I need some raw materials. So they cut a purchase order. That purchase order is shipped across to company number two. Company number two then has to enter that purchase order into their system as a sales order. Right there, we've taken and duplicated the data. The purchase order and the sales order duplicated in two different places. It has to be reconciled in a certain way. Then uh, once the company number two ships the goods, they create a uh, bill of lading and they uh, send that over with the goods and that, uh, that receipt of goods has to get entered as a received goods. Again, we've duplicated data in two different places. Finally, we get down to the, uh, the bill being sent across and the bill is then, you know, goes from one, one party to the other. The other party submits a check to their bank that bank submits a, that check to the other bank. The other bank tells the, the last company that the payment has been received. It's only in this last transaction that we actually have a financial transaction. If we start thinking about all these other kinds of transactions that are between various companies, various parties, those could be affected by a blockchain sort of technology as well. It could help eliminate that kind of reconciliation in a very substantial way. This could be a radical new way of reducing the overhead for business transaction entry and reconciliation of those processes. In the next episode, we'll talk a bit more about reconciliation, a different kind of reconciliation that Bitcoin does not solve, but that our instrument ledger begins to help us solve as we move towards a metric engine.